收看《大宝法王慈悲开示》。
Now, first of all, I will continue from where I left off this morning. Lamarin Mugu Therefore, factors for devotion to become the path. First, Buddha Jana had lost faith in Manjushri upon seeing that he was a householder with a wife, and this caused an obstacle preventing Buddha Jana from attaining Supreme City. Similarly, if you see the Guru as having faults, the impurity of your own mind stream is to blame. How could Buddhas have any faults? Let them do what they will. Even should you see them having sexual relations, telling lies, and so on, Meditate thinking, this is the best way to train disciples. Because of this, he will undoubtedly ripen and liberate many sentient beings. So this is a hundred, a thousand times more marvelous than keeping a pure moral code. He is not being deceptive or immoral. He alone is unmistaken about the highest conduct. In particular, when he reprimands you, think that this extinguishes bad karma. If he slaps you, think he is driving away spirits and obstructors. Above all, think that due to his compassion, he is treating you as a father would a child and not being a false friend. He is very kind. If he seems displeased or does not pay attention to you, think that this is because your karmic obscurations have not been purified. Strive at the methods to purify your obscurations and please the guru by serving his body, speech, and mind. In brief, the first factor is not finding fault with the guru. Second, 
In the words of the Kaju forefathers, this authentic guru is precious. Everything he does is excellent. All of his deeds are qualities. Even were he an executioner, just that would be beneficial, just that would be good. It's certain he regards beings with compassion. Even if he displays sexual misconduct and immorality, his qualities increase, his qualities arise. It is sign of the union of means and prajna. When he deceives others with lies, he is guiding all beings on the path to liberation through various symbolic methods. When he steals, seizes, or robs, he trans transforms others' things into the accumulations and pacifies the poverty of beings. In actuality, when such a guru reprimands you, it is a wrathful mantra, certain to dispel misfortunes and obstacles. If he beats you, it is a blessing. All siddhas arise from that. All those with devotion take delight. As this says, recognize that whatever he does is a positive quality. This is the second. Third, when meditating on devotion for the guru, forget being concerned about whether you're pleasing him or not in this life. Do not even harbor hopes about whether or not you will achieve the supreme city. Whether he accepts you with compassion or not, whether you achieve city or not, there is nothing for you to do other than to have devotion. Resolve to stop expecting or worrying. This is the third. Fourth, in the secular conduct, in secular context, upstanding people are able to do anything for their bosses publicly, privately, and in between. That is for this life, for the sake of a few months or years. But if we place our hopes in our gurus from now until we achieve enlightenment, uh, whatever of goodness and happiness arise, uh, arises in this life, the next or in between, whether uh, great or small, it is solely the Guru's kindness. Whatever spiritual qualities you develop depend only upon the Guru, so focus all your actions of body, speech, and mind on serving him. With everything from your prayers for the Guru to live long and for, and for his activity to flourish on up, never be without an amenable and admiring attitude. If you serve your Guru with such attitudes, there is no way that your being will not be ripened. Jorola Kadi Kimberse, Biwa for the training, everything is contained within two things. Accomplish whatever the Guru commands and do whatever he wishes. With your body, prostrate, circumambulate, write letters, sew, run errands, or at the very least fetch water and sweep up. With your speech, recite prayers and praises to him and tell others about his qualities. Answer questions in a way that pleases him and speak gently and respectfully without concealing your intentions. Do not speak even half a critical word about an openly or in private. In your mind, cultivate devotion and pure view only, without falling into mistaken views for even an instant. Should something disagreeable happen to you due to bad karma arising and so forth, immediately catch it with mindfulness and never express it physically or verbally. 
If due to previous bad karma you inadvertently go against his wishes, make your confession more intense by offering your body and possessions along with it. Exert yourself at confessing and vowing to refrain from repeating it by reciting the hundred syllables, amendment and confession offerings, and so forth. It is inappropriate to get along with, eat with, or even have conversations in affectionate manner with those who go against your guru's wishes. It is taught that befriending those who demean your guru is no different from demeaning him yourself, even if you do not do so in actuality. Materially, we should offer without reservation our gurus the things that we treasure and whatever it would please them. But we call for ourselves the biggest and finest things that serve our purposes, be they horses, cattle, and whatnot, and offer the guru that which does not suit us. We give ourselves a high title and ask for whatever empowerment, storm, and root uh, instructions are the most sacred. If it does not quite work out, we scowl with displeasure. We try to make him feel grateful to us. We have no gratitude for the Dharma and key instructions he is able to grant us, but say we have done him a favor by requesting teachings and listening to him. Not understanding that offering the Guru possessions and services for our own good, we try to show off and gain status. It would be far better to just stay away by ourselves than to do anything like that. Once you have developed true devotion, the signs of having received the blessings will occur in actuality, as experiences or in dreams, as explained in the texts. Specifically, when the appearances of the eight worldly concerns disappear, you put this life out of mind. The clear and empty mind arises nakedly and realization suddenly arises. These are the greatest true signs. Whether or not you develop the meditation of the actual practice depends on this, so do not reach impatiently for calm abiding and instant insight. Instead, lay a firm foundation of good qualities in your being. That completes the uh, instructions on Guru Yoga that are found in the Torch of True Meaning. Following this, there are the uh, instructions on the main practice. Now, actually, the main practice is really taught in the ocean Mahamudra, the ocean of definitive meaning. And so what is taught here uh, is like a distillation or a synthesis of that. Uh, but it is not necessary to go over it now. ラバルドチサンガニャムネチャギニュエダンデマタンメバユエデバチンデゲカサリヤアニタタデシュネソンバナシンギラマティンジュティソイエミニャタトゥモマイバシュネソンバナシンジコアディデデナシンジュゴ
당무디 라메 균 메도바 니바티 진세 유엔 대누시야 순바디야 라동 오베 타슈이탄 데마 시바티 아니 감사합니다 Nishebe, Sambada Mijewas. In particular, there are four uh, four points here that are talked about the uh, four points for taking devotion as the path. The first of these is not thinking of the Guru's faults. The second is to see that everything he does is a po is positive. Uh, the third is to give up uh, expectations or worries uh, and to have great resolve. And the fourth is to uh, always have an amenable and admiring attitude. Ta Lame kyun mito ba sa di eh kadishire shubi imna ta tangbudi nengaru tangbudi lame kyun mito ba sa tangi shuben ne singi lama sewe sana anji Lama di kuen da debare to yuen den da debare to ta si shakwa di ke chum shi cha de ores. So the first of these is not uh, not thinking of the guru's faults. So this is the first of these four points. And as I mentioned before, uh, first of all, when we are searching for a guru, we need to see what their qualities and faults are. Ta na singi mui ni zue mui yu ge chwe chwe liya. So it took in the other data, as a person I say, I would do more. Three in this sunny, we get near the soya trellia, me guns on a maiden game. You and they shut out the ending in this as a pussy, the movie gets a pussy chug up. We need to talk to the Jim and Kalahour. Says Mikabo Cardian to the Minabunagansi, someone with Taji, Cabo Cardian Abunagans to do sunny, Kato Gizamanta, me. For one thing, uh, the actual way things are, the actual way human life is, and what, are, what is taught in the texts are different. Uh, and uh, for what is taught to be text, taught, at, you know, to find a guru as is taught in the texts uh, is something that we just can't really expect. It's not really what we can find in this life. It would be difficult to be, find someone like that. Uh, because people are not wholly positive or wholly negative. There's no one who is 100% positive or 100% uh, uh, negative. Everyone has got a mixture of faults and qualities. Cheza laman jigi laman ji cheza shibi minea di ji ta ji gdo be karsure eh be se nan se sha ba nan shin gi yuen den tam ji yue den gi be se nan se de be gi kyuen du zha wa ni me den gi eh tin ji ji be go re ji ji be de so when we are looking for a guru, if we think to, if we try to find someone who is categorically, exa categorically, exactly as taught in the text, who has all of the qualities and who has none of the faults, if we think of, uh, think that we need that type of person, it's fine, hard, hard to find it. It's not like we can take the text in our hands and go looking for the guru and compa uh, comparing with the text. That can be a kiss, la wa be a kiss, la ma del tu gi tu gi, o ta kui ti che so yan di che so su ba zi jam. Ta tu ma ro di, ka la ka ro ba. It's not like we can go looking for the for the guru and we've got the list from the text and we go so he's got this one, he's got that one. We can't go and do that one. 
呃，那个，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，呃，
I think that it's also important to understand the um, uh, to understand the purpose and the reasons for serving the guru. 배낭 아주직 따다 이 봉화디도 가르쳐 정질린 게 봉화디죠. 고란도 내가 미 따다 고란도 지고 정질린 매덕 주디스 렌 따다 지고로 마다 고란미 고란 상막히 도어만 매덕 주디스 렌 고란도 내가 따다 지고 진짜 고란도 미유다 내가 가르이네 가르치고 유민이 고란도 세우도가. For example, when bees are collecting nectar from flowers, then each bee knows exactly what they're supposed to do. They know exactly what they need to get. They go to the flower and they do their, and they do their job uh, perfectly. They don't do anything else. They know exactly what, it is, what their aim is and what their task is. So here it's like it's as if the, the guru is like the flower. And the qualities in the in the Buddha's mind or the qualities in the Guru's mind are um, are like the nourishment or the the, the, or the captivating qualities the Guru's the Guru has are, are what we need to get. They're like the nectar. Uh, and so we need to be able to actually retrieve that nectar, the captiva captivating qualities of the Guru. <laughs> And the method tell Judy, you know? Dang, I saw quite a terrible. I saw Jung, Jung, the way in the Judy, you know, and Judy Lenshat. Donna, some big is Siena, Kevsan Lane, Kevsan the Lane, or I did the Kasue, the Susu Kevin Sule, Susu Muguatuva, Kasue, you shall, this good. When bees look for flowers, it's, it, uh, there's no question of what color the flower is. It doesn't matter if the flower is white or red. The bees don't really care. What they do is they go to the flower. It doesn't matter uh, the flower that has nectar. It doesn't matter whether the flower is beautiful or not. Uh, it just, what's most important is that the flower has the nectar that they need. And so it's like we need to think about this sort of like, like a business enterprise. You need to go and extract what is profitable and leave the rest. Lamma Susuki and so what do we say? We don't think of, we should not think about the, the Guru's uh, faults. This is basically how we should understand it. Often it's said that the Guru has incredible qualities. Uh, but when we uh, have a guru, one guru, the, the guru is an ordinary individual. They're only ordinary individuals. We aren't able to serve gurus who are Buddhas or Bodhisattvas. And so when you have someone like a, a, guru, a, a spiritual master who is an ordinary individual like us, uh, then we need to uh, be able to understand them uh, in this life. We need to be able to realize what about them is it that's going to give us an opportunity or be profitable for us. Uh, and so that way we need to uh, become close to them and create a, a mutual connection with them.
So that is the first point, and that first point is looking at it in a negative way. It's uh, uh, not thinking about the faults of the guru. The second is thinking in a positive way, uh, thinking about uh, or seeing everything the guru does as being a quality. So when we see everything the Guru does as being a quality, that means that whatever the Guru does, whatever deeds the Guru, uh, the guru performs, we should see them as being an opportunity for us to train our minds. I think this is the, the basic meaning. ลามาดอลเมเดวะทีทอนเนกะดุยเนียจิลบจงราจิกตางตะกานะชิสุสุยากินราจิเอ่อนุกดามินโตทินเจกิเอ่อจิกะรุเวโกกะเจอาตางท
아주 쉬우지기야 expectation 수수익이 무기 채워달라 때문에 지금 남산 지 토벌 안으로 쉬우지기 아주 가수로 따지 삼동단데 쉬우지기 따가도 expectation 세난다도 레와 참 쉬우지기야 진지지가 토하네 따가다 가수로 The business job is a very strong source. Then the other source is a very strong source. Then the other source is a very strong source. Then the other source is a very strong source. Then the other source is a very strong source. Then the other source is a very strong source. Then the other source is a very strong source. Then the other Kalau lama lagi, lama lalu dia nanti cuma mugi ya bercak, dia macam mana mugi meja bersih. Jadi cakap, main bimbang. So we shouldn't have expectations with our devotion. It shouldn't be like we expect that we're going to get something immediately up because of have having devotions. We have huge expectations. We place huge hopes on on our uh, on our on our devotion, and it's sort of like we are expecting. It's, we're treating it as if it were some sort of a business or some sort of a deal, but that's not what it's like. Instead, we should think, uh, we should recognize that uh, our own devotion uh, is actually our own responsibility. It's our own task that we need to do, and we need to uh, recognize that that is what we need to uh, to nurture, and that is what we need to do. Another, uh, it shouldn't be as if our devotion is something where if the Lama treats us in one way, then we have devotion, and if the Lama treats us in another way, we don't. They are Lama, they are the Lama, the Mugu, they are the Karsue, Missy Jigma, the Serum, the Serum, the Tamsia, the Lama, the Mugu, the Mugu, the Serum, the Serum, the Lion, the Sane, the Church in the Shavi, the Rawami, the Chico, the Jawa. Tak ada wadah tarung musim ini dia orang, jadi cakap orang tu dia sendiri tarung musim ini yang sah. Tadi juzan ada ni, ada rawa mebel rawa cikam, semua ada. Ada rawa mebel rawa cikam je. Jadi jika tuan ni redo, kita cincil tu apa cakap ada kerja macam ni. And when we have devotion for the guru. The devotion is not just for a single lifetime. The devotion is from lifetime after lifetime, from birth after birth. So when we say that it's for, from lifetime to lifetime, or life after life, then, uh, then this is like there's no hope. It's too far off. It's so far off that there's no hope for it anyway, anymore. And so we have to have a hope that is without any expectation. Uh, and so in this way, we need to release ourselves from the, bind, from the bonds of hope and fear. Tak amat ni yang saya risau bas. Lama lama ni cerita ni, lama lama ni ada. Tanah sini lokar sungkang, lokar betul. Lama lama lokar betul ni. Be ni ni zaman tu ni. Ini sah. Ni zaman sama dah macam macam orang esok. The fourth is that we should always have an amenable and admiring attitude. So we need to admire. We need to. Always have a pure, a, a pure, exceptional attitude towards the guru. We always need to have a, a, a purely positive mind, a, a, a way of thinking about the guru. Uh, in other words, we always need to have a, a loving attitude towards the guru. Tadigi, so nizu sambe guna lama tendan de sungu yare. Jore guna lama tendan sungu zane. Tadile ya chisun, chisun jubatan. So these are the way we uh, we need to consider. This is the our, our attitude. The second is in terms of our actions. The actions means that uh, whatever the we may need to do whatever the uh, guru commands, and we need to accomplish whatever the guru wishes. And so there is nothing that is not included within these two. That is not so. The Lama ini, lama dalam lama jauh sahaja, cukup dua belas jam juga sana. Jika dia ingat tahu ini, kerja itu ada di kana nama di sini, pasti ada macam ni, jadi jam tu kira. Cukup tuan yang kana nama, pernah jadi lama yang mana, tangan nang, ini susu ini, tangan nang benda ni susu ni apa soalnya? Jadi susu cuma ini na, ini jika lama dalam lama jauh sahaja, mana jadi orang. Ini jenis 
Tidak cumbi ni, ni sini lama tengah, lama cakar, rangka lama cakar, lama tengah, lama tengah, lama cakar. Tidak itu sah, tidak cumbi ni, ni sini lama lama ki, jawab cuk, lama lama sah cakar. Tidak itu tiga jenis dia ni, lama ki, cisung dua belas sah, dua dia, si tambah cuk, malam dia kerja nampi ni, dia cuci ni yang susah lagi, dia kerja macam macam dia. Primarily, the relationship between the guru and the disciple is a dharma relationship. Uh, if the guru gives a command, a worldly, it tells you to do something worldly, then you don't do it, then it's probably okay. But uh, when, you, uh, when it's a dharma thing, if the guru teaches you an oral instruction, and then you practice that instruction, then at that point you can really develop the connection between the guru and the, uh, the guru and the disciple. At that point, you re, uh, the student really becomes that guru's student, and the guru really becomes that student's teacher. And this is what really makes the connection. Uh, and so for this reason, uh, uh, when we say that you must do, uh, do whatever the guru commands, this, is pri this means that we, it is really important for us to practice the dharma pro uh, that the guru teaches us properly. <laughs> Chu in particular, if we do not uh, do the Dharma practices, uh, any of the Dharma practices that the Guru teaches us, then it will be difficult for us to really follow the Guru from lifetime after lifetime. It will be difficult to have that uh, real connection with the Guru. The, the connection with the Guru is one that needs to span many lifetimes. Uh, and if we uh, don't have that sort of a Dharma connection, then there's no way we'll be able to follow the Guru into the next life. Where we end up will not make any uh, difference. If we don't have that connection, then it doesn't matter how close we are to the Guru physically or, or whether we follow the Guru wherever the, the Guru goes. We need, to, uh, if we don't have that connection of doing the practices the Guru tells us to do. Since we need to have a connection that will cover, that will extend from lifetime to lifetime over multiple lifetimes, there's no other way to develop this than by doing the Dharma practice. Uh, and so I think that um, if we are able to practice the Dharma, the, the Dharma that the Guru teaches us to us, then we will, only then will we be able to develop a really good connection that will last for multiple lifetimes. <laughs> And so that completes that. Now, uh, today and tomorrow, there are actually quite a few people who are leaving uh, and who will not be able to receive the full instructions. So now I'd like to give the transmission, the long transmission of the four session Guru Yoga. Medo 
So now that completes the transmission of the four session Guru Yoga. Thank 
Tora jin hua zi ruji, uz bu jin cha ru tu si re de, kui nu ju se je, sar jama de jama do, je za di ge, di yi na ya, ti dang ge, tun shi la me ne ju di, ki mi ra chu zi na lo le ju 